Alright guys, now this last pair is a pair that I'm waiting to receive the hate mail for. Hit me up in the comments because I know. I say this <laughs> I say this shoe for last because I know I was about to get some some hate. Bruh. Bring on the hate. It's okay. I'm, I'm gonna be reading the comments. I gotta respond. I gotta I gotta be a man. I gotta respond. Alright, look, it, it doesn't make me happy to do this because this shoe grew on me and everybody called it trash. And I was the main one calling it trash, but like I said, this shoe grew on me, man, and I really do like it. I even wore it. So without further ado, bruh. Here we have it. My last sneaker of this video is Snipe Squad. What is going on? Back again. It is your boy Sniper Jones Jones, and I am back with another video fight. Yeah, head top. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video, man. It is the end of the year. It is time for another banger. Man, let's get it. Okay, top ten best sneaker pickups of the year. Now, recently, I just did a top 10 sneakers I regret video. So it's basically like the opposite of this. Y'all know, you know what I'm your boy Snake Jones, I be, I be cashing out. So basically, man, I buy a lot of sneakers. And with that being said, there are some times where I regret it. You know what I'm saying? Cause it just be times, man, where I just, I just be thinking I like them and I, and I really don't. And then it is times where I'm right. It is times where my impulse buys don't let me down and I pick up some of the dopest releases of the year. So real quick, man, if any of you guys have not seen my top 10 sneakers I regret buying, then check that out. I'm gonna probably either leave a card above me or I will link it down below. And if you're here, then obviously you wanna see my favorite pickups of 2019. Now, every time I do this video, I have to tell y'all it's not in chronological order. Wow, that's the first time I ever said that, the first time right. It's not in chronological logical order because it's too hard okay so i'm gonna just randomly select them not in order so i don't want nobody in the comments talking all that hot hey man those are better than those or those are better than those calm down all right just calm down it's not in chronological order because it's just too hard and i love all of them but at the end of the day it's still a top 10 breakdown also guys before we start this video i just want to ask you guys to go over and follow me on instagram i appreciate everybody who already has but for my people who haven't bro like hold on my, my, my guy if you haven't followed me on Instagram, bro, what are you doing? No, 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 like real life though, real, real rap. Like, what are you doing right now? This is where I post a lot of my videos before they drop. This is where I post a lot of my snippets before they drop. Also, I give you guys a lot of opportunities to even choose the videos I want to do. So follow me on Instagram, that will be linked down below too. And my Twitter, you know what I'm saying? Just show me some love, bro, show on dog. All right, and the last little warning, you know what I'm saying, before we go, because I know y'all be like, Snipe, you talk too much in the beginning of your videos. I get it, all right, I get it. But I do have to say, every sneaker that I'm picking up, might have not released this year, but I bought it this year. So for example, say if something dropped two years ago and I bought it this year, I mean, it's still a 2019 pickup. It don't have to be released in 2019 for me to buy it in 2019. So it probably will be a few of those in there as well. And uh, with all that being said, bro, I think, I think it's time to get in the list. All right, first sneaker, as I said, not in chronological order. This shoe right here was something fire for your butt. And I picked this up very, very recently. Let's get it. Naya, the Yeezy. V2 Static, or as I call it, the Static. Bruh, call it what you want. Grandpa shoe, ugly shoe. I got this shoe, bruh. Shout out to Astro Lab. Astro Lab is uh, it's a company or, or two guys that owns the company and they basically help you trade sneakers you don't want. I had a black pair of Sakai's that I wasn't gonna wear and I wanted these so bad. I do not understand I wanted these. I'm talking with my eyes closed right now because I want you to feel a passion. I wanted these so bad. And I did not want to pay that retail price or resale price of 500 plus. So I just traded the shoe I, I, I couldn't stand for this shoe I want. And it's so basic. It's so easy to wear. It's so simple, man. But I love it so, so much. I've worn it like three, four times. I posted a pic on the gram. So go ahead and give it a like if you see it. But yes, man. Number one has to be the Yeezy V2 Static. So smooth. This whole upper right here is 3M. Got some good leather right here on the upper. That normal, you know what I'm saying? Got the normal, you know, I ain't gonna give it a review, but it's it just fire to me. If my opinion, if I only had three 700s, which I only have three 700s, the only three I need, this pair, the Mauve, or Moab, however you want to call it, and last but not least, the Wave Runner. You gotta have those three. You got those three, man, you good. All right, guys, next up is a very, very unpopular shoe, but man, it's your boy Snipe. Who would I be if I don't be myself? I can't be nobody else. That's on dog. I've been fiending and dreaming and wanting this shoe since I was in high school, and it finally came out this year, and I finally got it, and it just completed my life. Naya, here we have the Rookie Galaxy, the Galaxy Rookie. Now, a lot of people don't know. A lot of y'all have probably subscribed to my channel a little later in life. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm a little older, and I'm mature, and I don't really 
collect as many phone posits and pennies as I once did. But for all of my day one subscribers who know how I came in the game, phone posits is what introduced me to collecting sneakers. I had every pair, just about every pair that dropped at one point in time, and the Galaxies were always hard to come by. Now the original pair dropped, I believe like 2010, 2009 or something like that, but I always wanted a pair of the Galaxy Rookies. As y'all know, I believe I re-released these this year, and I got them, man. And as I said, very unpopular, but it don't matter. This is my top 10. And the significance of me wanting this as a kid, man, like, growing up, a Galaxy was like, I probably never thought I'd get a pair of these, man, and now I finally do. I wore them a few times, as y'all can see, they're a little dirty, but definitely one of my best pickups, in my opinion, of 2019. Very cool, very sleek. And uh, it's a little bulky, you know, but at the end of the day, it's, it's what I like. You know, I, I'm super happy I got a pair of these. Okay, now next, I got a pair that all of my OG Jordan heads is going to love. This pair of sneakers had to be one of the best in this entire silhouette. And they re-released this year, and it was a cop, no question. Here we have the Air Jordan 6 Infrared. Very big GR. One of the biggest general releases of 2019, but still, in my opinion, a must cop now as i told you guys earlier all my og jordan heads man all of my guys who's just a fan of jordan brand y'all know the infrared six and uh black and varsity red six are two of the most iconic jordan sixes of all time i just feel like it'll be disrespectful for me to do a top 10 sneaker pickup and not throwing the infrared sixes i mean it's a lot of hype shoes out there it's a lot of a lot of shoes that go for crazy amounts of money retail but my list is not really about that. My list is about the culture. My list is about what I like, what I want, and what I think people needed to pick up. I just feel like if you're a sneakerhead and you had the money to pick this up and you blew it or you just didn't pick it up, oh, bro, like, that's your miss, man. This is definitely a must-have this year, a huge pickup for me, and I'm super excited to have the black infrared sixes. All right, guys, now it's almost impossible impossible to have a top 10 video of 2019 and not put in a jordan one now they dropped so many jordan ones this year it was crazy just like they did last year man the jordan ones have been getting out of hand i'm even hearing the retail prices going up from 160 to 175 but one of my favorite air jordan ones to drop this year was very slept on but i love it so much Naya, the air jordan one turbo green bro i love this sneaker like so much man like i knew it from the jump when i got them that i was gonna rock these i threw a dope pick up on the gram man so if you go to my instagram i had this nice little ovo hoodie with it very very fire i got the ovo hoodie out there when i was in canada and this shoe is just super cool super smooth doesn't have too much going on it's like that nice turbo blue got the white laces then it got like the distressed tongue kind of like an off-white vibe and it also got like the yellow uh nike air right there on the tongue man just a great overall shoe so many jordan ones came out um i'm not saying this is the best one but it's one of my favorites, one of my favorites uh, that came out this year, 2019. Let me know how y'all feel about the Turbo Green Air Jordan 1. Next up is a sneaker that did not come out this year, but I'm pretty sure y'all know this is going to be on my list if you're a Snipe Squad fan. If you're a fan of the Snipe Squad, when I got this shoe, I almost cried, man. A tear came down my eye. Oh, Lord. I can't do it. This sneaker almost made me cry, man. And uh, now that I put all that gas on it, let's get to it. The Nike Foam Posit Oregon Ducks, bruh. The Oregon Duck Foam Posit. I don't care if y'all don't respect the Foam Posits. I don't care if y'all don't respect the Foam Posit. It does not matter to me, man. This shoe meant so much to me. Uh, the whole upper is like this winged looking detailed 3M. Man, the Oregon on the back. Like, bro, this shoe is fire. My only Oregon PE, y'all know, as I told you guys, I'm a huge foam guy. And the biggest thing about this shoe, I got it for a steal, bro. I think I got this shoe for like 170, 180. And if y'all look on StockX right now, man, these things are still going for over $500, $600, something like that. And for me to get it for 180, of course, I did get it from one of my homies that looked out for me on the price. So, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's a huge reason why I got it for that. But still... An amazing pickup, man. The Oregon Duck Foams. I know I still got some some foam heads out there who still watch my channel. I'm sorry, guys. I know I haven't reviewed a foam uh, since the Memphis Tiger joints, but they just haven't been coming out with nothing I like that much. So I had to throw these Oregon Duck Foam Posits in here for my top 10 pickups of the year. It's still icy. Can y'all believe I got these for 180? 
190, something like that. It's crazy, man. Shout out to my homie Roland for tossing me these, bro. Like, I love you, man. I love you. Okay, now, those was kind of hype. But I know what y'all really here for, man. Y'all here for the hype. I know I got some people out there that like, Schneid, you done showed us all these GRs. Where the hype at? Look no further, boy. Let's get it. Daya! You know I cannot have a top 10 video without putting what I think is the most hyped. This got to be like the best sneaker of 2019. I've said it earlier. You know what I'm saying? I go back and forth with another sneaker that's in this uh, same countdown that I'm going to talk to you guys about earlier. But I mean, you can't tell me that this shoe doesn't deserve to be talked about. Now I get a lot of people say it's ugly. The only reason why people like it is because Travis Scott. And I'll tell you, that's cap. Like, that's cap, straight up. The whole idea of the backroom swoosh from the material on the freaking toe box, on the uppers to the cactus jack, on the side to the sickle mode uh, doll on the back. Like, this thing is crazy, man. As y'all can see, my pair is still DS. I do plan on wearing them. I just honestly don't know when, man. I, I look at these things, man, and they just fire. They just fire. I was fortunate enough to pay retail on them. I will not pay resale for these. Y'all know me. I'm not really paying resale for nothing at all. But how can you not have this in your top 10? If you have it, like, this is easy. Top 10. In my opinion, it might be number one. Top for number one. You know what I'm saying? Air Jordan 1, Cactus Jack. Travis Scott. Got him have him in there, man. Side pocket. Just a fire shoe, bro. Y'all already know. Y'all seen it a bunch of times, man. Fire shoe. All right, man. Another one for my OG Jordan guys. My OG Jordan heads. One of my favorite Jordans to release this year, hands down. Air Jordan 4 bread. Without a doubt. You hear me? Without a doubt. Nike Air on the back. Right? Smooth, man. Whenever you look at this bread, it has to be the most iconic Air Jordan 4 for me. Uh, some of my favorite Air Jordan 4s is this one. I like the Oreo. I like the white cement. But this bread, bro. I mean, I know the cool gray 4s came out as well this year. It was some good fours. The with the fours was definitely like top five Jordan fours to release this year. This has to take the cake, man. It's a bread four. You <laughs> know, like what else do I need to say? It's a it's a bread four. To my people who only care about resale value, y'all not gonna really appreciate this shoe. But for what it's worth, man, this shoe is absolutely amazing, and uh, one of the best OG colorways out there, man. So bread four is definitely on that list as well. Okay, so that was six sneakers. We got a few left. But don't sleep though. I still got some heat coming. I still got some heat coming. Next up is a sneaker that I kind of was waiting for it. I was waiting to get this shoe before I even did this video because I could not complete a top 10 video without this shoe being in it. You already know, man. Come on, bro. You already know, okay? This is what kept me from making this video. I had to wait until my pair of Bread 11s got in. The Air Jordan Bread 11, classic. I can't tell you how many times I can't reiterate it enough, man. This has to be one of the most classic Jordan silhouettes as the 11. And one of the most iconic models or, or colorways. That white, red, and black, that Chicago Bulls colorway will forever be engraved in our heads, man. This, this is the color that Jordan wore. You know what I'm saying? This is He had a lot of moments in his color and his sneakers. So it just speaks to a lot of us. Me, I was really too young to watch him hoop. But for a lot of you guys out there, man, I'm pretty sure you remember moments when he had these on. And it's just amazing that his legacy is still getting passed down. And in memories are still getting passed down. OG hot cut patent leather. You know, 23 on the back, OG box this year, so they definitely did their thing. So, you know, I cannot have a list, a top 10 list without having these in it, of course. So we got the Bread Jordan 11s. Next up, man, we have another pair of Yeezys. A lot of Yeezys has dropped, but only a few can fit in this top 10 list, okay? Because Yeezy had a lot of shoes, I ain't gonna hold you. It was low-key trash this year, bro. Like, them the Citrons was trash. The, the the Cloud Joints was trash. Uh, the, the What was that? Like, the Lundmarks? That, those was trash. A lot of colorways I just wasn't rocking with, man. But he did recently drop something that I needed in my collection. I've been passing on a lot of 350s, but this, this one I needed. Here we have that Black Friday special. What's the odds of this all-black 350 being released on Black Friday? Now, it is another pair like the Yezreel coming out. I really love the Yes Real Man or that or Yeez Real, however you want to say it. But however, I need that. I need this and I need that. I actually wasn't gonna do this video until I got like the Yes Real or Yes Real, but I just didn't want to like hold it, hold the gun. I wanted to put this video out and drop it. So I'm deciding to put that, put the video out without having that in 
the actual video, but if I had them, they would be on this list too because I, I do believe that they are that fire. I did not get the glow in the dark pair, and that'd be like my poor man's version of the glow in the dark pair. But here we have the Yeezy Boost 350 Black Static, you know, 3M uppers, you know, well, actually 3M laces. I don't have a uh, non reflective, or I don't have the reflective. This is the non reflective, but. Definitely uh, just one of the easiest shoes to rock and one of my favorite sneakers uh, that picked, dropped this year. We got another one for the hype heads. Another one, man. This shoe right here, I went through hell and back to get. And when I tell y'all the story, y'all know they are, bro. I went all the way to Chicago. Linked up with break, linked up with flight. I stood in line. I took raffles. I did it all. And by the grace of God, man, St. Alfred's out there in Chicago hooked your boy up with a pair. The Air Jordan 6 Travis Scott. You know I have to put this on the list. Nike Air on the back, man. I just really do believe that Nike is blessing Travis Scott. Jordan is blessing Travis Scott with some of the best silhouettes of the year. Um, this is what I was saying might be Jordan of the year. It goes half and half with the Air Jordan 1 tra uh, Travis Scott. I don't know which one to give it to. You know, when he first dropped, I said this. But now looking back at the Air Jordan 1, it's just hard to really, it's hard to decide, man. But at the end of the day, you can't lose either way. This one has the glow in the dark outer sole. Got the pocket right here on the heel of the shoe. This green is my favorite color. Glow in the dark sole, like it's not really too many ways you can you can beat this shoe. I mean, and like I said, this shoe has definitely went down in terms of uh resale, but y'all know me. You know, resale doesn't determine what I like and what I don't like. But uh when it when it's all said and done, bro, this is Hands down, one of the best sneakers to release this year, 2019. All right, guys. Now, this last pair is a pair that I'm waiting to receive the hate mail for. Hit me up in the comments because I know. I say this <laughs> I say this shoe for last because I know I was about to get some some hate, bro. Bring on the hate. It's okay. I'm, I'm going to be reading the comments. I got to respond. I got I to gotta be a man. I got to respond. All right, look. It, it doesn't make me happy to do this because this shoe grew on me. And everybody called it trash. And I was the main one calling it trash. But like I said, this shoe grew on me, man. And I really do like it. I even so without further ado, bruh, here we have it. My last sneaker of this video is the Air Jordan 1. <laughs> the Air Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard 3.0. The, the waxed booty juice, like whatever y'all want to call it, man. Look, okay, let me let me get some explaining because I know y'all like snipe. You got some explaining to do. Look, bruh. I never had a pair of shattered backboards. Okay, not the original, not the reverse, not the low top. Not the satin. This was my first pair. I love orange and black. It's one of my favorite two combinations. I always say, you know, one day I'm gonna get that that Jeep Wrangler. It's gonna be orange and black. I love the color blocking of the shoe. Um, the shoe actually looks way better on foot, and I just think that it gets like hated on because the material is good, but it is glazed over. I still think, in my opinion, out of all the Jordan ones that dropped, this is one of my favorites. But you also have to understand. I didn't get every Air Jordan 1 that, that came out. I can name you a lot of Air Jordan 1s that came out better than this, but I don't have it. And this video is my top 10 pickup. So if I didn't pick it up, I can't really put it in here. Y'all remember, I picked up the Air Jordan 4 Cactus Jack for retail. That was too small. I had to let him go. But this is how I'm going to end the video out, y'all. I know it was super long, but I'm going to end it off with the Shattered Backboard 3.0s. Please let me know how you feel about my top 10 pickup sneakers of 2019. If there's anything I forgot or if there's anything you might want to add to the sheet behind me, then you can let me know and comment down below in the comments. Until next time, man, it is your boy, Sniper Jones, and you know I cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous. But we're really putting in that work, though. Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big.